everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun because I'm going to be putting together this kind of bar bookshelf situation um, in our apartment. Um, I have had this bookshelf for about a year now and I always intended for it to be a bar but it never really I never really put it together the way I need it to um, in the way I envisioned so I wanted to record me doing that now um, please make sure to like and subscribe and of course leave any questions and comments below and let's get into the video so I have it already put together here so what I'm starting off with is just cleaning it out really well um, cleaning it off really well I'm using this Windex with vinegar that I really like using on glass I'm gonna start in the middle because I know I want my wine glasses, you guys. These wine glasses are from Crate and Barrel. I am a Crate and Barrel stand. The more you watch my channel, the more you will know that. Um, I love, love, love these wine glasses. I call them the Olivia Pope glasses. Um, I first saw them watching Scandal um, and I was like, oh, I have to have these. So on my next shelf, I get into my wine. Um, here I only keep red wine. Um, I do any white wine that's going in the fridge. Like I, I can't drink no warm white wine, child. And so for this, the rest of the space, I'm going to leave blank until I kind of come back with some like style add add-ons that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to show you that here shortly. Next, we're getting into some of my styling. So as you can see here, <laughs> I am not good with getting like the little labels off the bottom of glasses. So I just left them there because I'm about to cover it up anyway. So I ain't gonna worry about it. So I am putting in some uh, corks that I have saved. I, <laughs> you know, your girl drinks wine, okay? On the next face, I'm doing limes. We use limes a lot. Like I mentioned before, we make Moscow mules, we're, we make mojitos. Some of these limes aren't the cutest, but you know, that's life and it's okay. No biggie. So next, I am using these little cocktail straws that I ordered off of Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link because I actually bought these a while ago. I am adding these here and then I will show you guys how I'm gonna style that a little later. So next, I have this super cute cocktail book, The Art of Mixology. Y'all, this book is so cute. Everything from the color, from the inside, like look at these pictures, it's super cute. Um, I also got this off of Amazon and I literally bought it for how it looked. I have not made a recipe out of it yet. <laughs> So on the top, I am focusing on like our nicer quote unquote bottles of liquor um, that we just have at home. Um, this bottle of Hennessy I keep in the box because I think it's so cute um, because if you look on the back of it, it's actually engraved with my fiance's name, which I think is the cutest. I'm like, we never gonna drink this because Y'all can't tell me that's not cute, okay? So uh, next I am adding some Martell Blue Swift. Since this is a smaller bottle, I'm just popping it on top of the book to give it a little more height. Then I am adding this Hennessy Pure White. I'm also adding um, 
two of our Moscow Mule Cups. Like I said, we do drink these a lot actually. Um, and I got these for home good from Home Goods. I want to say it was like 10 bucks. It wasn't a lot. Whatever it was, it wasn't a lot. These two glasses that I'm adding here are actually from Crate and Barrel Outlet. Then I have this super cute cocktail shaker. Um, this cocktail shaker is from Home Goods. Right here, I have a muddler that is also from Crate and Barrel that has a spoon on the end. And then here I'm just adding some greenery. Um, this is a plant that I keep in water so there's no dirt. Um, and it's, it's a plant that can, you know, survive in low light. Although it's, it's not super low light, like, you know, it's window view from where it is. So, but it seems to thrive over here. So the next thing I'm doing is adding the little style elements that I mentioned earlier. I'm adding the limes, um, just adding those in another nice little pop of green. And then I am adding the cocktail straws. Um, those look so good here. And like, I am in love with this top shelf, you guys. Like, I'm feeling very official. It's very cute. Like, know me, know the girl, you know what I mean? So then we're gonna go back down um, to the bottom half of the bookshelf. And so here you can see I'm just like thinking, like, what do I want this to look like? Because me being me, I want to add more greenery, of course. So here I have a nice, healthy aloe vera plant that I love. I've had this plant for two years. Um, and it is in a little pot that I want to say is also from Michael's. So here it is, the grand reveal. I am in love, you guys. So cute. It's giving me the vibes. Um, the only thing I will say about this bookshelf situation, it's not the sturdiest. So I would think about keeping in mind just even weight on, you know, all the different shelves and just keep that in mind. It could be a little, it can be a little shaky. Like if you live in a place where there are earthquakes, you know, I might secure it to the wall, which you can do with this, but I am in love. So yeah, leave any comments, you know, questions below. I will try my best to link everything, but please, please, please make sure to subscribe and look out for my next video. Thanks guys.